The first play I ever saw was the thing that sort of lit that fire under me. At that moment, at seven years old, it was like, pink, like this is what I want to do. I want to be a part of this. I want to be able to tell stories like this. And whether I'm doing it on stage or off stage or writing a grant or sitting behind my desk or helping other people make their art, that's really sort of the purpose of my life. Every time I meet somebody, they've got their Goshen Theater story. And it's something that connects them to this place. And what those people are hungry for, I think, is being able to pass those experiences on to others. When I walked into the space the first time, like any time I start working in a new theater, I try to find some time alone at some point to just sort of feel the space out. So my third day of work, I was like, all right, let's go in. So I came in here and stood on the stage and just sang uh, Over the Rainbow. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up In that act, just that simple act of like being here alone and singing by myself, I felt this real connection, not just to the place, but to the people that have performed here. This building itself has so much history in it, and everybody has these experiences in the building, in the community. So it's already created those connections. It's just getting it back to a place where we can make new ones. The story I hear most often is, oh, we had this space, but it was too expensive to blah, 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 so it was torn down and turned into a parking lot. That's not the story of Goshen, in my experience. There's a lot here to build on, um, but there are a lot of things that still need to happen. And that's why like fiscal donations are so important to organizations like us, because we want to provide those connections to art for anybody, no matter what their socioeconomic background is, no matter what their cultural background is. So first, we're building a bunch of bathrooms, uh, two-thirds ladies, one-third men's, down in the basement, which is very important. One of my favorite things that we're doing is building an elevator, and that's obviously an enormous project. So that elevator will be able to access the basement first, second, and third floors, which includes the ballroom. We're moving the offices to the first floor. We're gonna create more of an open space in the lobby. The theater, it's one of our few sacred spaces, culturally, that's left. Like, you walk in here and people turn off their phones and put them away. That is nowhere else. So people walk in here and they sit together and as many of those experiences as we can create as possible, it's going to make a difference culturally. I've never been in a place that has been this supportive of its artists and that's a place that I want to be. And so if I can create that kind of support through placemaking, like if I can create that kind of support for other artists, I know that they're going to want to be here. Just like that's the sort of place that I want to be.